Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Unfortunately, this is not a time whereby you are not feeling well. You simply go to a hospital and you can get medicine. Forget it. You must go. You have to go to a private hospital. You must buy your own medicine. If you don't have your money, you just have to sit there and bear the pain. And for me, these kind of things, uh, they remind me of the so many people out there who get hit by ailments and they can go to the hospitals and they just sit in their homes some of them just die in their homes for me it is just you know gases feeling uncomfortable but others have got serious ailments in the compounds and they are failing to go to the hospital so for me some of these things when i go through them i take them as an opportunity to share in the suffering of the people out there, you know, uh, and it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. This is a reality. We don't have uh, medicines in our hospitals. People for, with cancer, especially, I mean, the cancer center, uh, it's just a shell. A lot of things are not working. A lot of people are, are on, uh, on waiting. Ah, it is easy when you are everything is okay when you are eating you know like the song is saying you know everything they are they are buying for you you have got your big salary you are getting your allowances you have got your fuel it is nice it is nice but for those who are not in government or who don't have jobs nice jobs it is not easy. And this is why we are talking. Unfortunately, when we are talking, some of you, you actually, uh, you know, say, hey, you talk too much. Why don't you just shut up? Why do you always talk? 20 hours you are talking. 20 hours we are talking. We are talking because people are suffering. Even myself, I'm suffering. I'm telling you, if I were to tabulate my problems you would actually be shocked i have a number of problems myself a number of problems not just the, you know about me look i've got the relatives i've got obligations i've got responsibilities you know and the pressure is just too much it's just too too much especially where some of, uh, some, of, some of us who, you know, you have got a big family and yet very few are not doing well, you know. And not because they don't want, because reality is just difficult. It's difficult for them to, to fend for themselves. It's difficult for them to find jobs, to find opportunities. And that's why we are talking. That's why I talk. So I was telling my wife to say, I have to talk. I don't want to talk, but I have to talk. Why do I have to talk? I have to talk because things are not okay. And I'm hoping that in my talking, I'll be able to reach out to many people out there, you people who are listening, so that we change things. It is not just a matter of you listening to what I'm talking about. This is advocacy. Advocacy for you to do something. For you to change the status quo. And how do we change the status quo? We change the status quo by changing leaders. That is how we change the status quo. If you have put a leader there and this leader is failing, is failing, that leader needs to be changed. That is just what it is. If you put a government 
and that government is not delivering, you need to change that government. That is what is, that is, what is needed to be done. We need to change the government. And that's why, in spite of me not feeling very well, having these stomach pains, I quarreled with my wife to say, I'm going to do it. Why? Because I want to reach out to many of you so that at the end of the day, we can change government. At the end of the day, we need to change government. It's not just listening. I don't just come here to talk, talk, talk. Uh -uh. I am talking to you so that we change government. Why are we changing government? We are changing government, number one, because this is a democracy. This is a democracy. A democracy where we say power belongs to the people. Power does not belong to those who are in government. Power does not belong to Waaka Inde Ichilema. Power does not belong to Gaham Ayimbe, Mlambo Ayimbe. Power does not belong to all those who talk too much. No. That is, we have just employed them. We are the ones that put them there. And now that they are failing, let us remove them. They are failing. And they are failing. It is not me saying this. Themselves are actually admitting that they have failed. They are admitting that they have failed. Dwaka in the was saying, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not a professional politician. I can go. And they are now you coming up with these, these uh, uh, you know, stories to distract us from real issues. We are all busy discussing a sausage. Instead of us addressing the issues over, you know, the cost of living. Instead of us addressing the issues relating to how are we going to create jobs? How are we going to collect, you know, taxes from the mines? How are we going to run our companies so that they can make profit, so that they can benefit Zambian people? How are we going to run Zesco? These are the things that we, should, we are supposed to be discussing. But President Daka in the because they have failed, they keep blaming those that were there. They keep blaming Edgar Lungu and PF because they have failed. It is very simple. When we were kicking out by Edgar Lungu and PF, it is because Baka in the said he has the solutions. Naba kwa tomuti, ngafino inenduele. Baka in the Ichile Maichila Tinani kwa tomuti na laku pero muti wala pola. That's what they said. I know some of you you don't like us for talking. You don't like us when you, when we are when we are talking about these issues. But these are the issues. This is exactly what happened. What happened is that Mahaka in the Ichilema came with, you know, the 10 points plan, came with solutions. There is nothing that Mahaka in the Ichilema did not promise that he will sort out. He promised that he's going to sort out everything. He promised. And that's why we put him there. But two years down the line, he's still blaming the PF as if he's in opposition. When we were in the Ichirema, assume responsibility that is running government, it is no longer Ed Galungu. When is he going to do that? Because he keeps talking like he's in opposition. He keeps talking like he's in opposition. He's now there. What are the solutions? Why does he keep on quarreling with Ed Galungu, who is outside? Why does he keep on arguing with PF, which is already out of power? Why does he keep on doing that? Mwena Zambia, even if you can say tayari ulalandikisha, whatever, whatever, but kwena, na ngutapaso suwa, ushe kwena, can't we talk about this? Because this man, Jonas Alevati keeps quiet, you fool. No, Jonas, open your mind. What did Baaka in the Ichilema say? When PF was in power, when Edgar Lungu was in power, what did they say? 
They said they have solutions to all these things. They said they had solutions to sort out the debt. They said they had solutions to sort out the, the high cost of living. They said they had solutions to sort out the agriculture sector, to sort out the, the mineral, the, the, the mining sector. They never said they are coming to give it to foreigners, no. They said they are going to give it to Zambians. They said they are going to pay all the contractors. They said they are going to create opportunity for Zambians. This is what they said. But what is happening today? They busy, they are still pointing to PF. And this is why I'm saying, if these people have failed two years, now if not, we celebrated two years in Aikwana. If these people have failed to change the status quo, because they are actually they have actually made it worse. Let's not even say if. It is, a, it is a reality, it is a fact that nothing we pay into. Things are much more worse than they were during the time of Aed Gachagwalungu. So, there is no doubt about that. There is no doubt about that. You can be a praise singer. You can be a praise singer, you can be anything. But the fact is that things are worse. Things are worse. I know others keep saying, yes, so, the praise singer, they say, no. Did you meet him? No. They say, no, uh, how do you expect uh, things to be sorted out? How do you expect things to be sorted out within two years? Uh, understood. Understood. We can't expect, you know, miracles from this government. We are not expecting miracles from this government. I want you to, to listen to me very carefully. At least for me, I am not expecting miracles. I'm not expecting President Aka in the to do abracadabra. No, no, no. I'm not expecting that. But from my point of view, what I expect is that whilst he's sorting out himself, whilst he's, you know, learning the ropes, whilst he's putting things in place, I expected at least to maintain the status quo. At least to maintain the status quo at least to maintain the status quo. What I mean is, for example, Milimi was at 130 kwacha. 130 kwacha. That's where my Edgar Lungu left it. So since you were 130 kwacha, I expected Vahaka in the Ichinima to keep that price at least within that range. If it is to increase, maybe it would have been 140. 140 at least. Or since he was aiming at reducing a bag of millimeter to 50 kwacha, he would have even reduced it even to 100 kwacha. Even Nangufiok for 10 kwacha, Wawafi 150. Wawafi 120, I mean. Wawafi within that range, within two years, at least I would have accepted a plus minus 10 kwacha. Maybe we could reduce it. Wabako 120, maybe you could start increase Wabako 140. No, but it is double. It is double. That is where we have a problem. That is where we have a problem. Within two years, Bahaka in the was saying when PF came, he found Wunga, they found Wunga Pali, Pali 35 Kwacha. But when they were leaving, 10 years later, Wunga Pali 130. Ten years later, Ubunga Wadi Pali 130. For argument's sake, within ten years, the PF, they increased Ubunga by 100 kwacha. If you want to do the average, you can do an average of 10 kwacha per year because we're talking about ten years. Ten years and 100 kwacha. On average, we can say Ubunga Wadi is increased by 10 kwacha, 10 kwacha, 10 kwacha, 10 kwacha. And if we want to go by this, that same argument, we can say within two years, maybe Uunga Ngana Wurundwa by 10 kwacha, 20 kwacha. This is, this is what I'm thinking. And this is logic. This is logic. I'm arguing with reason. I'm arguing with reason. I'm not just talking from without. No, I'm using, you know, uh, parameters that you can that you can follow. Ten years, 
100 kwacha at least per year we can say 10 kwacha nomba imwe ba UPND within one year you have increased ubunga more than 100 kwacha within 2 years meaning on average if you like we can say you have increased ubunga by 50 kwacha per year and yet you said you are going to reduce the minimum so my brothers and sisters for you who are saying no give them time this is my problem that okay instead of things at least being where they were status quo maintaining the status quo things have gotten much more worse than they were you see and then the other point is this issue of debt because some of you by UPND you lie to yourselves that no abantu they are sorting out debt i want to tell you that this government is actually in a better position than the way than where pf was trust me this government i will repeat this this government is at a better uh, position in a better position than the way pf was what do i mean when Balungu came in, even during the time of Basa, Basa, 20, uh, 2014, 2013, we had actually drought. But Edgar Lungu, why she came government, we are grappling with the issues of drought. This drought is what caused the load shedding that we had. Remember the high load shedding? Because of the drought. And we were not producing that, uh, that good. Anyway, they managed to fight that 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 um, a, that drought, and we survived. Copper also remember there was that a, a China um, America uh, a trade trade war, where you know China was not even building and so on and so forth. Copper prices went low. Anyway, these things started coming up. As they were coming up, we were hit with COVID. We were hit with COVID. As we were hit with COVID, there was lockdown. We all know, unless we, unless the extra fumful, unless you just want to be, a, a, to be mischievous, you would want to ignore the impact of, the negative impact on the economy and on the government. And this was during the time of PF. It was during the time of Bayed Galung. But even then, when we had the drought, when we had the COVID, did we suffer the way we are suffering today? No. We didn't suffer the way we are suffering today. We didn't suffer the way we are suffering today. So, this government is better off because we don't have COVID. We don't have a drought. No, we don't. And besides, some of the investment that the, U, the PF made are actually bearing fruits. Like, for example, the road shedding. Road shedding is, is finished not because of the UPND. No, it is because those power plants which the PF were building, they, 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 are, they have been completed. And the rain has improved. Has improved. Apart from that, this government is not paying for debt. Because you people like to say, no, 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 no. Hey, this government is paying debt. No. Since UPND came into power, they have, not, they have never serviced debt. This government has never serviced debt. The only thing that they have done is to contract more debt. They have contracted more debt. But Haka Indi Ichirema said, when I come in, I will put a moratorium. Using his, his, his words, there will be a moratorium because this debt is shooting or, uh, over the roof. That's what Baka in the was saying. We have reached a ceiling, no more contracting of debt. Baka in the they have been contracting debt and they are not paying any debt, they are not servicing any debt. They, and they have actually managed to negotiate this debt restructuring of whereby they are not going to pay now. Debt has been postponed pro, or pro, um, uh, procrastinated to a later date. So they are not paying. Now, 
Muliba eight galum. They were paying. At one point, they even defaulted because they had to pay. They didn't pay. So balungu we baleri pilen kongole. Ba eche tava baleri pilen kongole. Ishinemra da patingo. Ba eche tava baleri pilen kongole. And yet everything is so bad. So surely. If they are in a better position and things are like this, and Balungu, he was in that situation and things were better, surely who is better? Who is better? Who is better? And I'm talking, I'm not just making statements, emotive statements. I am backing up my points. Certainly, Ed Galungu is better. And this is why I'm saying, if Bahaka Inde Ichidema has failed, let him resign. Let him resign because we can't wait up to 2026. It's too far with this kind of suffering. Today, for an insala, to Allah for an amalwele, Alan to Bale for San Angana Mune Fidiro, there are too many funerals. Too many funerals. Oh, Akumanya, we you now for? Oh, Akumanya, we you now for? There are too many funerals. Too many funerals. I am sure even you who are watching, you, you must have gone to a, for a funeral. At least. In the last week or last two weeks, all of us we are going to funerals every month on average. On average, Chilamuntu, we are having funerals. Why are we having so many funerals? Why are we having so many funerals? Why are people just dropping and dying? We are having these funerals because people are stressed. We can't manage. Now, now in a panel on the show, I am very. I don't have money. I don't have money because I know if I go to the hospital, I mean I go to a, to, to a private, I don't I need to spend close to a thousand quach. I don't have that thousand quach. I don't have it. Now if I don't have a thousand quach, I mean should have a different hospital. It's quite a thousand quach. What about people in the compounds? What about people in the compounds? That's why people are dying. That's why people are dying. Chivika pona efyo, kuline ensala. Eh? Tabako ito munga, tabako ito munani, tabako ito sugar. How will people live? That's why people are dying. We are having too many funerals. This is a reality. These funerals we are having is as a result of the stress that these Bahaka in the Ichilema has brought. And so if we are going to wait for 2026, tukashara wanga, how many people are going to remain? To Alapwa, the best that Baka in the HDMA can do, let him pave way. Let him pave way. Let him resign together na Wankanduruo, not Wankanduruo, but my wife is in Alumango. My wife is in Alumango, but she is going to resign because she is in Monica. But she is in Alumango. She is in Monica. Picture no sound is not, she is nowhere. I couldn't have picture anyway. I can't say picture no sound. Where is Bam Tade Bam Tade na Lumang? Eh? Kapo kalaka friendship by shem kutulanga pana ni kenyuko state house because we 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 had that karuma that there was a a katif eh between them there was a difference between them eh then they came up with the pictures no 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 we are okay I'm okay with my boss but all of a sudden why why ingira punch my vice president what is happening? What is happening? Anyway, let both of them resign so that we can have an election. We have elections. Lungwa weke repo. Arakeneka three years. Tumono for inga sova. Ofo inga sova. So that in 2026, inga taki sova le wino. I mean, to asala to fwae bambi. To wike po bambi. We need somebody who was there. Somebody who is experienced. Echo ndela ndila pali. Pari, pari Edgar Chagwalungu. Don't think that I'm mad. Don't think that he, you know, um, therefore I feel up here lower Edgar Lungu. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Tell up here lower Edgar Lungu in the floor. If anything, you couldn't have a chink. Mundu will have a pon a wino. I mean, uh, frankly speaking, Mundu will go up and up and up and up something. Up and up and up and up and up something. Kuliba Lungu Chapo ka. Nge me have a chink. Eh? So, if it is about money, na nomba nga ndepundi la mundu vile, mundu vile, mundu vile. Nomba ka hili, apa, nchile punda mundu vile. Na kushima.
That's why in the film we have to put that. So, but I'm looking at a bigger picture. I'm looking at a bigger picture. We need Edgar Chagwalungu to come in. And I know. Thank you very much, my wife. Thank you. Now we come out. Oh, have you put some concussion? Thank you. And you know, in any Shifisa, me, I'm a very straight guy. I'm a very straight guy. I know some of you, you call and say, hey, Mushani Nabwadi, Mushani Nabwadi. Let me tell you, most of us politicians, Nifoba Mushani Nabwadi, most of us politicians, Nifoba Mushani Nabwadi, it doesn't matter how flamboyant we may look, how elegant we may look, what car we may drive, Whatever, whatever, most of us politicians in Fuewa Mushani Nabuadi, most of us politicians in Fuewa Mushani Nabuadi, we get paid or we survive by what we do, and depending on where you, where you are. Those who are in the ruling party, those who are campaigning, who are talking good of this, or who are talking good of the, of the UPND. They are eating through that. Umu aicho andichela. Wishana nombala kopama picture. Ta kopama picture nombu. Vali mwingi she nchito. He is getting paid. Ni wumusha ni nabuali. Because he made noise. Because he insulted. Because he spoke so much. Vaka inde ichile ma. Ichi nomba wawa mupawa. Vali mupela nomba. Inchito. Ale lila. Pakusaba ila kwa kwe. Pafin tuwale chita. That's why he's getting paid. Ni mushani na wali. If the job, you know, uh, umwa echa wandichela sometimes, ala yunfo, hey, kirikiti, kirikiti, ah, uh ah. -uh. When he was taking pictures, he cannot say he made more money than he is making now. He's making more money now. He's making more money now. Pilato, ni mushani na wali. He's a PS because of what he was doing. He's a PS because of what he was doing. Eh? Va, mwenjele neko nishire sarula wa ntuyo. Va mdana wa mtati. He has got a political party. He has got a political party. Va, Felix mtati. Mwaitimu kwa nda panine. Hey, hey, what about your party? What about your party? Va, Felix mtati. Wa Mirupi, wa Charles Mirupi. Wa likuwa tamu political parties. But because wa lishani no wali, they are now ministers. Ni wa shimuchi ndikuwa. Ni wa shimuchi ndikuwa. Mula ndu, wa lilandile, wa lechitesha, na cha, na cha. You know? Na ine palo fino ndi, echo ndela ndila. Ndela nda so that he, Valungu, nda wawekila, puna ina kutiwa mpela kwe nchito na wako minister. I'm opening your eyes. I'm a politics, nifuwe wa musha ni na wadi. So, just because me I'm transparent, ina na liwa transparent. Even na wabe na wabe na wabe na wabe na wabe na wabe na musha, wabe na nani. And some of the people that, you know, that, that fund them, we even know them. We even know them. We eat from talking. Politicians eat from talking. It doesn't matter what status he, but former vice president, but minister, wants in for Mushani Nawadi. Even Mulambo Aimbe, that's why he left. He was, a, he was a lawyer. Yes, he was a lawyer. And yes, he was a good lawyer. Yes, they were making money. But... They had to come in politics. They had to change it up while now he's a minister. If you have politics. That's why I do understand when I look at Dr. Nevers Mumba. When you see Dr. Nevers Mumba, now I'm people, now I'm people. But Dr. Nevers Mumba, when you see him talking, because in Chitoyama politics, Ngataula Andre, Techurie, 
It just depends on what you are saying. That's all. It just depends on what you are saying. Ngataula ngilete chulie. Kulanda. Vaneva smumba. That's why you see him issuing statements. Vachira cannot know. A problem. You know, they always make this argument that no, Ngawalande Chintu, people don't reason with you. Instead, they start telling you that, uh, you know, you are benefiting. Because that is the truth. Let us not pretend. Once and for a mushani na wali, kutambila fere, na waka inde ichirema, waka inde ichirema na bovele. That's why they cannot, me, I'm not a professional politician. Waka inde ichirema, wale kana, wale ifunya pari bu mushani na wali. Me, I'm not a professional politician. That's what Vaka in the HLM means. In Shiri Ramuma politics. If Vaka in the HLM land. But in Jeveni, Mina ni politician who Shiri Ramuma politics. In Jeveni. Tell me one politician. One politician who Shiri Ramuma politics. Nina ni. Nina ni politician. One politician who Shiri Ramuma politics. Nina ni. Nini Shiri Ramuma in the HLM. Why didn't he maintain? He's doing his business. Why didn't he maintain? Why did he have to come to politics? Nga take four kudira ma politics. Nga take four kushani no wali as a politician. Ni fweba mushani na wali as politicians. Unfortunately, mwe to you don't realize. You start paying homage to these people. Kwati, ni vashi muchindi kwa. They are kings. No! Politicians eat off you citizens. Politicians eat off you citizens. We bring ourselves to save you people and get paid. So all of us in Fuba Mushani Nawali, Tampira Baye Chechi, Vamirupi, Vanani, Vamutati, whoever, Haimbe, Niba Mushani Nawali won't say. We eat off you citizens. We eat off you citizens. But at least the morality which should be there is that the only real power to when people are feeding you, at least you save them. At least you save them. That is at least with me. The yande landa, at least what I'm saying, the yande yamo, at least na vantu na me na watashani va sekila mu. Epo na imi na imi. Imi na funde samkulanda pano. Yes, somewhere, somehow, therefore I work on this sham. But if you have this sham, I also want people to benefit. And I wish many politicians would think like that. That, okay, if you have a sham, you have a sham, you have a Because politics is about all of us benefiting. Politicians benefiting and citizens benefiting. So me, I have no issue when you call me Tari Mushani Nawali. I have no issue. But Ngawali Kwa Tamano, if you are intelligent, you will realize that even Aka Inde Ichirema ni Mushani Nawali. It's you who gets, who pays him. Yes, Aka Inde Ichirema will tell you, no, no, I had money and I had money. Where did he get the money? Didn't he get the money from privatization? Whose companies were those? Where are they not from people? Who is sent for Mushani Nawali? But paratulation, you know, why? Paratulation, that was something. Can, or can we also make sure that people also benefit something? Immorality comes in when immorality is win, and you want to pretend that if into Philippia win, that's why immorality comes in. When you pretend immorality, and you want to pretend that everything is okay, a woman shall in a world will be. That is why it becomes a problem. So, Vaneva Smumba has issued a statement on, 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 on the airport. In a statement by Vaneva Smumba, Bafumishe, Nibumusha Nina Walibubi. Why do I say Nibumusha Nina Walibubi? Because he's just issuing a statement so that when I want to say Nibumusha Nina Walibubi. That's why we have differed. That's why we have differed. I will, I will not uh, talk about people I know. 
I know you talando yalanda in Indonesia. I just look to say, okay, it's okay. You are doing this. You are saying this so that you can get something. This is a fact. Even me, panami me ever. Even me, I'm not lying. I'm talking like this so that at least our father is changing our form. Po, and if you have our form, because therefore if you could, ah ah. But each each in the village that we know, if each each was doing well, I would rather go to his camp, join his camp, and eat with them. The problem with my UPND, Valeria Vega, this is where I'm finding it difficult to go to them and eat with them. This is the problem. This is the problem. Unless Valeria Kwete, I'm a strong conscience. Valeria Vega, I can be seen. Amena pirato, bana liya kabisira. Eh? Amena mtati, amena Felix, amena Charles Minuki, bana liya kabisira. Bana yaku fichilisha. People are suffering. That is the, not the kind of government I want to I want to be part of. I want to be part of a government that yes you are eating but also people are eating. And this is the kind of government that I see muliwa Edgar Lungu. But Edgar Lungu had his own thoughts, but at least government yabo, bale liyana bantu. That's why you are seeing money, kuli wakada, awa wulano, awa wulano, no mutwe, tawa ishwa no kupende ndalama, but they were having money. Why? Because the government allowed the Zambia and Zuku liyana. It is true, not everyone was eating with them. There were a few, but at least from those few, we were snatching something. At least we are snatching something. With this government, they are eating with foreigners. They are eating on their own. They have made a, 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 they have condoned themselves. And they are just eating only amongst themselves. Zambians are suffering. That is the difference with Baaka in the HMA na Edgar Chagolung. And Baneva Smumba, people like Baneva Smumba and others. They are busy supporting them. Supporting them. But never smumba. You are saying, no, eh, eh, how can you feel when somebody, you send somebody to go and buy sausage, a eh, 2 kg sausage, and then he comes back eh, eh, at, no, I bought at 400 kwacha, and yet it's 150. You can feel bad. But never smumba. That project is a big project. And you as former vice president, you should know very well how to break down a project. If Vanessa Mumba, that article that you posted, if you had broken it down, that there is there was working on the runway. And working on the runway, the cost was, was supposed to be this. And yet they paid this. There was this building. This building should have costed this, and yet it costed this. If you break it down like that, you make justification for that 150. I'm telling you, I would not argue with you, but never smumba. I would not. I would not. But you are quick to defend your pomule villa. You are quick to defend your pomule villa. You are quick to defend Bumushani Nawari Wenu. You are coming up with statement. I have changed the Would winking Zambians, Mwavika pona at woman of God, and those people who are naive. I mean, man of God, man of God, man of God. I'm telling you, a lot of you, a lot of you, you are cheated by these so-called men of God. You are cheated. They rip from you. Muna inoleisha no kuloleisha. Wa forenda rama. Wa atudiro muntu at man of God. That's why me, I love CR1. CR1 is realistic. CR1 tabe power and to finish, finish. Ah, ah, ala landi la po. He even tells you that if it's to scam you, I will scam you. I will scam you and you, you, you will be shocked when I scam you. He, he says it. He says it, but I don't know. You keep on, you know, venerating some of these men of God. These hungry vouchers, you keep on venerating them at men of God, men of God. It's not that, I'm not saying about all of them, no. There are few people 
people who are dedicated to serving God, but not our kabwala that men of God, men of God. You know, kabwala lah. Now, in a panama, I would have made a church, I would have been making money. But some of these, you are kabwala lah. They steal from you. You Zambians, a lot of you Zambians are very naive. Very naive. You venerate these people, men of God, men of God. Nonsense. You are kabwala lah. Men of God, men of God, men of God, men of God. I'm telling you. So, that defense, Yama never smooth. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. What change is He's trying to be, you know, to be, to, to be canny. He's trying to be canny. No, when he, you send somebody to go and buy sausage, two, two kg sausage, he, he, he buys at 150 instead of 400. Can you give us the justification? Give us the justification of your 150. And this is my challenge to all those who are arguing to say that that airport costed 150 million. My challenge is, can you give us the breakdown of it? Can you give us the breakdown of it? How are you arriving at 150? When there were so many stakeholders that were involved in building that. I appreciate a, a honorable, um, this, uh, this, this lady, the MP. Eh? Kat, ka, 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 ka. What, is, what is the name again? Yes, honorable given Katut. Honorable given Katut. She was a member of parliament. And as a, 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 com, a committee in communication, they looked at that. And that committee of parliament, it did not just include MPs from PF. It included MPs from the UPND. And they never raised an issue there. We never saw it coming in parliament to say, no, they have whatever, whatever. She has, I think, let me play this. He went to inspect. Let me, when let me, we were given yeah. instructions by um, I just want to comment on this. I'm a member of parliament and um, also I've been a member of parliament for two terms. I was in um, transport and communication um, committee when we went to inspect when we were given instructions by uh, the Honourable Speaker, Mr. Matibin, as a committee to go and check on the progress of the, uh, of the International Airport, KK International Airport. When we got there, we discovered, these were our findings, that the 400 million, in fact, it's 300 million plus dollars has been spent on the airport the hotel, the shopping mall, which is on uh, airport road, and the head office, and a warehouse. There are five uh, uh, items in this in this uh, 300 million plus dollars. It's not just the airport itself. I think uh, being, uh, being truthful is very important. Yeah, so you have heard, but given Katuta, she was part of a parliamentary committee, and they, they, as a parliamentary committee, they provide oversight to the executive, and the committee does not just include members of parliament of one political party. No, it includes members of, a, of the of the of the opposition at that time by UPND, and she has said five. There is a there is a more. There is a, a, the, 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 the airport itself, there is their, their offices, there is a hotel, and I don't know what else is, is there. She has said it. So, but never swim by the MUNE supporter, because the MUNE, at the man, the man at your level, former vice president, Dr. Chakuti Chakuti, a, a victory, a Zambia shall be saved, a victory ministry, eh, founder. When you come out, you should come out solid. That's why I'm talking about you. That's why I responded on your article because it is not making sense. What argument are you putting up? 
What has convinced you that what you are in the HNM must say is true? What has convinced you? That is what is lacking in your article. Because you are telling me, no, 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 why do you, uh, you, you, bring, you, you make it personal instead of reason? Where is your reason there? Where is your reason? Because you are supposed to convince us that this is my conviction. This is why I agree with Haka in the HNM. Before you start saying Haka in the HNM has a right to be upset, he has a right to be upset. What is the basis for him to get upset? What is the basis for him to get upset? Where has he gotten the 150? Can he show us? If you can bring that, believe you me, even me, I would, I would be here to, uh, you know, admonish President Hakainde, President Edgar Lungu and his government. I would be here to do that. I would never spare them. Never. That is not me. Nangunde for Kudia. Nangunde for Kudia. Chawa mafine fire karipa. But then to agree on corruption, I would never do that. I would never do that. Njikare, na ifi abu puba, inchiso mine ifi. Na ngufienka bemu government yawa edga lungu. If such a thing would happen, and I'm convinced, I'm telling you, I would not take it. So imuwa nevas mumba, what has convinced you? I mwewa nevas mumba, Dr. Nevas mumba, Dr. Sakwila nevas mumba. What has convinced you to support Vaaka in the Ichirema on this one? That yes, they spent 150 and not 300 chakuti. What has convinced you? You haven't brought out that one. That is the reason I'm talking about. That is the substance. If you engage me on that level, I will, I will appreciate and I will engage you on that level. Otherwise, that statement, Yabu Mushani na wali. Kufuwa yokudia. Kufuwa yokudia. Ila statement, kwa yama statement, yao tufumiatu, ulefuwa fiokudia. Ulefuwa fiokudia. But at least from my point of view, ah, nani kwa tako kanani, kani kofika, conscience, kala nishu pakofi. Ukufunia fe statement, fiokufuwa fiokudia, I would rather keep quiet. So I know I never swim, but I know from my point of view, me I know, I know how this government has been so good to you. Eh? I know when you are driving a GX like the GX that you drive, coming from government, I mean you need to, you know, conduct yourself in a certain way. When you are going all over everywhere here and there, you know they are giving you respect here as a former president and whatever, whatever. You are benefiting in that so-called former vice president, of course. Of course, we need to give you that respect, that respect. But come on, you are a former vice president for all of us. So when you issue a statement, don't issue a statement. Go above that. Go above that, Vaneva Sumumba. Go above that. I totally understand you need this government to support you. You need this government to help you. I totally understand you. I totally understand you. But kuti mwachitako mwachitako wino wino kofidia You would rather keep quiet You would rather keep quiet Not implicating yourself like that What has convinced you Vanevas Mumba? What has convinced you? Eh? And vaka How? And vaka in the Ichirem I mean vaka in the Ichirem Sorry to say He's a perpetual liar Sorry to say he's a perpetual liar I'm saying this it is true. Vahaka in the has been lying since he, since he was in opposition. Since he came into politics, he has been lying. He's in state out, he has been lying. This is another statement. Remember the statement that he, uh, he issued relating to the, the jet. Mulai Bukishapadi jet. When anybody in opposition, will give to the students. Has he done that? When he came in, no, that thing costed uh, 300 chakuti, corruption, when you are choosing leaders. Remember what he said. Remember what he said. Hey, but what has he done? Who has been convicted if there was corruption? Because some of you people, you know, when I'm talking like this, you, you feel like, no, 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 I'm just talking too much. But the question is, open your mind, think. The question is, from, Waka in the, from the time that Waka in the HNM came into power to, to date, tell me one person that has been arrested for corruption for purchasing that uh, 
that girl ship. One person, one. Don't mention the official name can study one. Study one has not been is not in court for corruption in that uh, 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 what is this Gulf Stream? No. He's in court at for abuse of power. That is that is the charge, abuse of power. Failure to failure to, to follow procedure, not corruption. So Waka in the Ichirema, he has been lying. So in Mova Nevas Mumba, how come you are finding it easy to believe Waka in the Ichirema? When Waka in the Ichirema has been lying from the time that he was in opposition and when he's the president, he has been lying. How come? But never smumba, you are finding it easy to believe this man. How come? That the woman shall not word. The woman shall not word. Now, you know, when I'm the folk, frankly speaking, the folk, could not the more could you have a kind of each name? Could not the more could you have? Could not the more could you have? The folk could you have a kind of each name? Ned Chula, I know in a pan on Ned Chula. Could not the more could you have? But taking the Yapavufi, whatever Pavufi. Hello, in any time, people are very proud. But hey, if you want to be a chief, that is a sin. That is a mortal sin. It's a mortal sin. Chimono kuipaya vantu. When a person is not telling the truth, when a person is not doing what is right, muwele ni po, muwele ni po, so that a change. I am talking about Vanessa Mumba because Vanessa Mumba, I've said it even before. Even you are senior leaders, and you are respected because of even this thing of the so-called man of God. You are respected. So you must raise your tunua. You must raise your tunua. We know. Not you raise your tunua. Uko asamuna so that you will be kemo if you are kudia. Ngo 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 to anato aton. Yo, it's not nice. It's not nice. You must raise your tunua. We know. We know. Not so that you are possible. Uh -uh. It's not good. It's not good. It's a mortal sin. You can be man of God, but this is immoral. This is immoral. What I'm doing here, I am saying this is the truth. No, I'm speaking on behalf of Zambians out there who are suffering, who are being cheated. That this government is sorting out uh, this issue of debt. Then they will come to the cost of living. Vanessa Mumba. Ba never smumba. Ba never smumba. Imwe. And this government is sorting out these issues of debt, then they will come to cost of living. Ah, I'm not a good enough. I could be enough. And a papa, I could be enough. And you and I, we know each other. You and I, we know each other. Eh? We know. We know. Ah. Ine na di mishwa. Eh? Na di wombe ne kona arabi. Omo mwa pitire mu South Africa mu nena wa Brent Trust jan jan na ri di shwe ya shionse na ri shwe vo mwa ikala na ri shwa I was young I used to watch you you don't want to cook it eh pa di chire chinga nda to alela nda chinga nda cha ve ki cheka la pamenshi we know the story about all that we know eh we know how you came back we know so come on please let us not Cheat the Zambian people. Let us be sympathetic with the Zambian people. We cannot be cheating people at no. This government is trying to sort out debt. Which debt will never smumba? Which debt? Which debt? Then they will come to the cost of living. Kubepa wantuko. Eh? And tomorrow mkawe na puppet, man of God. Wah, 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 wah. Ah, we. Tefyo. Tefyo chifiroku wa mungerele ko mwanti. Neke nife ndande. Mungerele ko chila nkani paine. When you cheat people like that, no. Hmm? It's very bad. It's really sad. It's really sad. This government is sorting out debt. How can they change the change of Because the one paying is he the one paying? Is he the one paying? Is he even paying anything? The change of Kalipa afu memo, afu memo. Every government wash Congress memo. A well is actually playing Congo. Chen tu muwe shemu waka inde eti galungu Kwa lipile nko ngoleshi Tawafume munga tawakafunga tawashiri pide Tuka kukaka Muwe sheni mu Tu mu paniko kwa tawashiri pide Kaide wa shikongwe Instead of you chamu shiku Hey, hali kwe nko 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 Hey, hali kwe Muwe sheni yesa ashiri pide Bring back eti galungu Let him come and pay the debt You have failed to pay 
You have failed to pay. Omu nyari show kwa lefi sofa. Amu lefi sengulu ila. Katuli shumi no kwa lechita. At least people are getting paid. Let him come back. Let him pay. Imo you have brought so much misery. So much. But never smumba. Please na papata with due respect. Shut up. With due respect. But never smumba. Shut up. You are a respected senior citizen in this country. Don't be part of the lies. Don't be, you know, a, a disgraced Mushani Nagwadi. I'm sorry to say this, but I have to say it. Because you cannot be saying this government is trying to sort out the debt. Then they'll come to cost of living. Ah, oh, we, chakana, chakana sana, chakana. Te chinjika reko vya popena po, munje reko, munje reko, ninja wamu kalamba, with due respect. That kind of thing is not right in politics. It's not good. To let you shut me, Pashisha, one to Avan to Valefwa Mulandua Wakuchula Avan to Valefo. People are dying because of suffering, and then you, because they are, they are helping you, you want to be helping them to lie. No, 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 it's not right. And then she's teaching Nina and Kane, she's teaching Gulfstream, she's teaching sell it. You are saying that it is gone, it is gone, it is gone. She's teaching guy. Shitisheni, shitisheni Gulf Stream, Trevor Dumone, shitisheni, sell it. Eh? And by the way, that Gulf Stream, mulakana tayenda tayenda. When you check Gulf Stream, amana nikane, filaka tushinga nifi nchifidia, Gulf Stream will end It keeps moving. Here, kuisa, whom does it carry? Baka in the each day. Vazaf, niwa na London, muka Londora one day. Because that Gulf Stream moves. It moves. The one parking up here, uh -uh. we know it moves. So it moves. Where does it go? Who does it carry? It is a presidential jet, but it moves. So who does it move with? Who does it carry? Where does it go? I mean, we can't keep on. Hey, hey, big alungwe, muweche ni esafisove na mufirwa, muweche ni esafisove. You are dealing with foreigners. You are dealing with foreigners instead of dealing with Zambians. You are not giving Zambians ama contracts. Ama contracts yam government. You are giving them to foreigners. Even this dual carriage way. Dual carriage way. This dual carriage way. You are giving it to foreigners. Money is coming from Zambia. But you have given this Italian mafia and other people. These are the people that are, that are going to eat out of that uh, uh, that dual carriageway. On top of that, Mwachirika na Paris, baka de kubaka de kubaka de kubaka for years. Why can't you give part of that project to Zambians? Are you telling me that we don't have contractors, either uh, engineering, construction, whatever, whatever? Are you telling me our engineers cannot build that road? Where is the citizen empowerment? Because Muli Barungu, Barungu used to talk about citizen empowerment every day. Every government project can only be Zambians. Every Zambian government, and it's a law, by the way. It's a law. Even when you are disregarding this law, you are disregarding it. Dual carriage way, we can only be Zambians. I think I even saw it, Muna Nkani, Mu News Diggers. But engineering, whatever, whatever. They're saying, give 50% to Zambians. Because the money you are, you are getting it locally, you are not getting it outside. So why can't Zambians be part of that project? So that at least ama Zambians na vena wali yako, palasi shikafika kona kumbi uku, palasi na mwene wa nevasi mbamukali yako, because ama Zambians inga wafula, wakesa atula kumutulo. And you will not be expecting money from Katushinga ni kui soko. You want to be expecting man. At least mga kwa takwe shamuturo. That's why nama churches, nama pastors, vale mtu kila kuna nikani kuma, kuma churches yao. They are running away from churches. These so-called men of God, they are running away kuma churches. Vale mtu kuli insala. Muma churches muli insala. So pastors and the bishops and whatever, whatever, they are running away kuma churches. Vale mtu kila kuma politics. Baisa mkula shami no wali. Mupita ni mupita ni mwanafe, hey, Father Chakuti, hey, Pastor Chakuti, hey, issuing statements. Bumushani na word. But if there is money in the economy, people who have money to come and tula, 
talk to the government to sort out Zambians. When Zambians are sorted out, they will have money. Pasande wakula samba, wasamba, 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 vaisa kucheichi, bala tula. Tabale tula because there is no money. Government is not paying money. So it is, a, it is a wrong move to go to government to get money. What you should do, push government to give Zambians money. Valeria, Valaisa Kuchich, Valet Tula. No, my mom will have to my politicians. No, mom Zambian. It is immoral. It is immoral. Let the Zambians also eat. Mwila wutukafati mwumudie, ah ah, let the Zambians also eat. Otherwise you are a disgrace, so-called men of God, you are a disgrace. Nibu kabolala, nibu kruku. Be nice to Zambians, Ine, that is my only difference. Ine mfwa okulia na wantu. Nangoko na kuata, mdena wantu. Panoku chura ndena that ndena chura nishkwe te watevu watevu. Mostly the problems that I'm talking about, they are not my problems, apart from marumu nkwe umundu ele. But otherwise, it is the, a lot of people that I'm helping. A lot of people that I'm helping. If I were just to say, no, njika let paru wani difiandu watevu watevu, I think I can manage pretty well. I can manage pretty well. But I consider others. I want to suffer with others. I am talking, panu, risking to be arrested. Risking to be arrested. Why? Because ndifu avantu na wina wali eko. Avantu weka leko wino. I was arguing with my wife. This is what I was telling my wife. I was telling her, do you think I like it to come here and talk, talk, talk? No. This is not pleasurable. It's not. It's not pleasurable. You think that I like it? I don't like it. But I have to do this so that at least waka in the HDM won't go. Ukweva tinawa firwa. Nga na wewe shabab, na wewe, na wewe. At least he might try to do something good. I must try to tell, I must tell waka in the HDM. Waka in the HDM. Give Zambians businesses. Pay Zambians. The contractors pay them. The suppliers pay them. I must tell him. Ngawawa pela. Maybe one of those. Akesa ingisha kwenchito. Brother wandibu kaboi. Or sister wandibu kaboi. And that sister wandinga ambo kuomba kuri wukaboi. He will not come here. Actually let me take opportunity to thank all those people. Who have employed some of my relatives. Kufamu kuri kuri mayo. I've brought a lot of relatives. And a number of you Zambians, you have employed uh, some of my relatives. My uncle has been employed by that man. He pays him something. And my uncle gets very excited when he gets paid. Thank you very much to you who has employed my uncle. The other day I went back. My sister has been employed by somebody. You know, they are looking after somebody's farm. Thank you very much for employing my sister. Because if those people, you don't employ them, all of them, they will be on me. It will be me to buy minimum for them, whatever. But since mulewe ngisha kwenchito, mule njafuwako. And that is how it is supposed to be. That is how it is supposed to be. So when I talk, when ngandela ndikishapa, it's not just me, ili ni nkwata ti. Eh? Nenamu uko idina, raish uko id. But I'm looking at the larger picture. The bigger picture. That's what I'm looking at. And that's why I'm talking here. Na imwewe ne, vambi mwewa shaloku, mwewa landa landa. Mwewa palawa never smumba. Think like that. Don't just think about yourself. Uh-uh. It's not good. It's not good. Zesko, look, you are firing people. You have sent people away from Zesko. You are employing a, a, a foreign company. You are indirectly uh, privatizing Zesko by giving this private company and it is going to bring its own people and so on and so forth. People are losing jobs. That is how people are dying in the compounds. In the compounds. Because, I mean, if they have no jobs, then what? Then what? Please, please. Reverse that nonsense that is happening at Zesco. Consider Zambians. What you want to do at Zesco is wrong. It's very wrong. What you want to do, kumainyuku, kumopane, kukesiemu, it's wrong. Consider Zambians. 
government contracts consider Zambians. That is the only way you are going to improve the lives of Zambians. At the moment, Bahaka in the you are killing us. You are killing us, Bahaka in the And I'm not saying this out of whatever to finish, finish. Uh -uh. I'm saying this because it is true. And I'm speaking for many Zambians out there. Listen to the, to the cries of Zambians. Don't listen to people like Banevas Mumba. Don't listen to those people. Don't listen to people like Bakeo Vinsampa. Listen to us. We are speaking for the Zambians. But if Zambians have money, I know I will have the money through Zambians. That's how I make my money. That's how I used to make money, Muli Balungu. Balungu was not giving me money then. I was making money through Zambians who were making money. Be real. Don't just concentrate on arresting us, arresting us. Mwakata nakuri Fred Membe no. Uyonamba mwalati nita na kiri kiti kiri kiti. Mwalati nita na Fred Membe has... You know, Fred Membe is charged with criminal libel. And, you know, he spent a night in incarceration. After Afman, uh, Fred Membe, he has also complained before a magistrate. He has complained before a magistrate so that the inspector general can also come to court. On a criminal, basically it's the same, it's 50-50. Baka Pokola, they are prosecuting the Fred Membe on criminal libel. Fred Membe is also wanting to, to, to prosecute the IG on criminal libel. Baka Pokola, they are, they are saying, no, you have defamed the deputy inspector general operations. Fred Membe is saying, you, the Inspector General, you have defamed me. Now, what is it? I can't it. Of course, this issue, when you make, um, there, are, there are a number of ways that you can complain against uh, somebody when your rights have been infringed by that person. One way is to go to the police, and then the police will arrest that person and take that person to court. But there is another way. This way is you go to court, complain before a magistrate. The only issue with this process, the second one, which one never Mumba has used, is that uh, you have to go to the DPP must give you consent to prosecute the case. Same with the police. Even Bakapokola, when Ibakuikata, before the case goes to court, the NPA, National Prosecution, has authority, has to agree that yes, this case can go to court. So, even you, as an individual, if you want to prosecute somebody, you have made a complaint, you have to take it to national prosecution. And then the national prosecution will give you consent to say, yes, you can prosecute this case. So, there is a challenge. I don't know if the NPA will agree to prosecute that doctor member, you know, on that criminal libel, here were at the in deputy inspector general. I don't know if they will agree, but equally, our friend member, I don't know if they will agree. So, but what is good for me, what I've liked about this is that my friend member at least he has pushed back. Some of us, we are in free, our rights are infringed upon. But we don't do anything. We don't do anything. We don't push back. I am glad that, 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 that Dr. Nevers Mumba or that, that Dr. Fred Mend is pushing back. I am also going to push back. I'm going to push back. I'm going to push back and I'll give you details later. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, you know information about that. But over and above, Everything that we have said today is that Baaka in the HDM cannot continue complaining about Edgar Chagwalungu and making a frivolous allegations, fake allegations, malicious allegations against Edgar Chagwalungu and the PF. The best that he should do, if indeed he has failed. He was elected because he promised us that he had solutions. If he has failed, 
let him resign let wa edgar chagwalungu bawele lepo bawele lepo so that uh what can say this over eh? we can tell wa edgar lungu to say we have brought you back but our issue is that can you sort out if into can you sort out in Congolese? Because why, 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 why can't it, he, he can't, he can't keep on like this. Eh? This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.